Good morning from beautiful Armenia. We woke up bright and early and had some breakfast and raided the fridge for all the good yummy food that they left for us. We got in last night pretty late around two in the morning and went to bed. Um, the girls got pretty good night's sleep, Caleb and I we're gonna be dragging today, I'm sure, because we got no sleep. <laughs> so um, we'll just be surviving on coffee, which is fine. It's plenty of coffee to be had, good Armenian coffee. So we're gonna get woken up, have some breakfast and enjoy our morning exploring the city. It's about six o'clock in the morning right now on Monday and it's pretty dead. I can hear a few cars, but I don't really see anybody up yet. So let's go explore this amazing city of Yerevan, Armenia. Well, we made it to our first sightseeing stop, which is the Cascades. Yes. And it's really beautiful here. Um, it would be a very long walk to go oh, all the no way, way up, um, but we are gonna go up the um, the elevator because my mom is not going to be game for that. Neither are the girls, I'm pretty sure. It's a pretty warm day today. So um, we definitely don't wanna do that today, but maybe in the winter one day. <laughs> the Cascades are definitely worth a visit. They are a remnant of the Soviet era that they have kept up with and made it look beautiful and um, worthwhile seeing since you can see an amazing view of the city. You can see these cascades from just about anywhere you go in the city since they sit up so high and you can take the escalators. Here we go! <laughs> if you're not into climbing the hundreds of steps to get to the top for this amazing view, We made it to the top and you can actually see a little bit of Mount Ararat. It's not as clear as some days. Daddy and Emma are going to run up the rest of the way to the very tip top. The escalators are not working the rest of the way, so, but this is a great view. After we went to the Cascades, we were all very hungry and thirsty, so Gohar recommended an amazing restaurant named Rehan, and this actually stands for oregano, so many things on the menu had oregano and were oregano themed. The food was so delicious, and we ordered a lot of traditional Armenian foods.
Armenia is so incredibly different from America, and it's really interesting to see the girls' reaction to just how much of a culture shock it is for them. There's so many things that are left over from the Soviet Union, and one thing that I love about visiting Armenia at night is seeing the Republic Square and the fountains. These singing fountains are visited by just about anybody and everybody. There's so many people there and I just love going. I can't get enough of them. Our trip to Armenia has just begun and we have so many more amazing places to show you. Armenia is very proud of the fact that they were the first ever Christian nation. Their king accepted Christianity as the national religion all the way back in 300 AD. And this sacred site that we will visit tomorrow was where Gregory the Illuminator convinced the king to convert to Christianity after he was in prison for 13 years. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more.